Hello and welcome to the tutorial on skip counting in 50s. In this tutorial we will skip count in 50s with numbers up to 500. Let's start with our first example. We've got the number 100 and the question is what number comes after 100 if we are counting in 50s. What number comes next? Now if we are counting in 50s you notice that it's a 5 and a 0 which means that the units will not change. The units will not change. The tens however will go up by 5 we're counting in 50s, they will go up by 5. Now if you add this together, this becomes 5. In this scenario, the 100 does not change. So the answer becomes 100, the 0 goes to 5, and the unit remains the same. So therefore, the number after 100, if we are counting in 50s, is 150. Now let's look at a different example. This time we have 250. What number comes after 250 if we are counting in 50s? Now notice the units is going to remain the same. In fact we can just write that down straight away. As for the tens, well that goes up by 5. 5 plus 5 and you know this, 5 plus 5, that gives us 10, 1 carried over. The hundreds, 2 plus 1 is 3. So therefore, the answer is 300. The number after 250, if we are counting in 50s, is 300. It's very simple. Now let's have a look at a different example. We've got 150, then we've got a blank, 250, 350, oops, I've got the wrong number there, we've got 300, and we've got a blank. So in this one, we've got two blanks, one, two, and we have to work out what they are. We are counting in 50s. So let's start with the first one. We've got 150. Now what number comes after 150 if we are counting in 50s? Don't forget the units remains the same. Let's go straight to the tens. 5 plus 5 is 10 with 1 carried over. The hundreds, 1 plus 1 is 2. So therefore the answer is 200. 200. So we've got 150, 200, 250, and now we've got 300. After 300, and now we're working on the second blank number. Again, the units does not change. We go straight to the tens. Add 5, that becomes 5. Nothing else changes. 350. Now you will notice a pattern here when you go through the numbers in 50s. I'm just going to scroll down and let's go through that pattern. If you start at 0 and in time you will learn to memorize this. It's very simple. The next number after 0 is 50. The one after that is 100. After that is 150. Now do you notice a pattern? It always ends in 0 or 50. After 150 is 200. Then comes 250. After 250 is 300. And so on. We can keep on going. So that is how we count in 50s with numbers up to 500.